The video you're about to watch might contain occasional cussing or swearing. You have been warned. Hello people of the earth and welcome back to Quicksafe TV. My name is Mike and in this uh, playthrough of Amnesia, when we picked off, when we left off, we have stopped at this strange place where the fire just spontaneously combusted itself and let's go ahead and just try to use it, I have no idea. Oh, it hurts when we use it. Which is evidently the logical thing it would do, right? Just being silly as always. I wonder why does it even... Maybe it's gas coming out of it. Those chains all over the goddamn place. If we have to sneak in here, we have to be wary of these chains. There doesn't seem to be anything useful in this room. We're going to go ahead and try to open the door here. If I have to hide, where do I hide? I'll go here, I guess. Seems rational to hide here. Not enough light in here. Okay, let's try. Let's try the pick in. Don't see anything. Hopefully there's nothing. Let's go ahead and close the door. Okay. Some stuff, eh? And a note. I hate picking up this stuff before I find out that there's no one in here. Okay, it seems to be pretty safe. I hope it is. Let's go ahead and pick the thing. Picked up Trinity Steam Rod. Oh, I'm picking this stuff up, bitch. Looking at the light. Calm down. Darkness as it uh, at our side, Daniel. Calm the fuck down. In case of missing rod, in a full set of three rods, if a full set of three rods is unavailable, there is one rod in the inner study rooms which might work in case the elevator breaks down again. Unless it is absolutely necessary, always use the spare rods in the storage before using a mended one. Let's go back. We have four phase amplitude rod, Trinity stream rod, steam rod, and the flow cycle rod. We're good. So now I have to figure out where the guy is and just continue moving on with our duties. But we cannot sit here whole day. Let's go ahead and try to explore. Carefully open the door, very slowly. If only I had a gun or a knife, I'd butcher the goddamn fucks, including the Alexander by this time. I just sit here, I'm fairly comfortable in here. We could make a run for it. <laughs> or try to be sneaky. If we're trying to be sneaky, we obviously have to avoid chains. Okay, that's pretty dark here, I think. If not, we can always make a run for it. Let's just observe the guy. What does he has on his mind? Maybe he calmed down already and he's not searching for us anymore. I like how he did not pay attention to the fact that the door just spontaneously opened. Which is a good thing for us.
Ochenta. If this is one thing, if this is two things I've learned, how to sneak better. One of them is always fucking stretch before you sneak. Because the worst thing that can happen to you while you sneak is a goddamn crunch of one of your limbs. That would be really unfortunate. And it's really audible in the dark, in the, you know, in the lack, absence of any kind of sound. It is really audible. Now, the other thing is, prepare the pattern for yourself. You better take care of all the bullshit which can disturb you from sneaking. Clunky objects, bottles, chains, anything that makes a substantial amount of sound while being easy to ignore or remove. Okay. Gonna just stay in the darkness. Good thing the guy did not pay attention to us very much. Considering how bad guard you are, no wonder they sent you in here. I just have to continue carefully moving backwards. All the way to where we came from without making unnecessary sound, avoiding all the places. I don't know. I have no idea. All I do know is we have to advance. Okay, a good place to wipe my sweat off. Good. Okay. Yeah. This is going to be very difficult. His arms and heart is pounding so quick. I cannot blame him. It's very difficult. But Daniel, we have to do this. He's shivering and I can feel it. Trust me, I don't blame the guy. I completely understand, but Daniel, understand. We have to get out of here. These bitches cannot go away with what they've done. Only you know. Everybody else is dead. We have to take care of justice. We have to avenge those poor souls. Gotta make a fucking run for it. Plus, remember, Alexander used you. He probably lied to you. He is not a friend. He is the number one enemy. We have got to take care of him. Because nobody else got the guts to do that. Only you and me. Calm down, Daniel. Daniel? Daniel, I've got your back. Daniel, we're going to do this. We're going to do this and leave this place alive. Daniel, this castle shall become a tomb. But not yours or mine. It shall become a tomb of Alexander. Professor Taylor was the second death caused by his damned curiosity. Yeah, his damned curiosity, not by your hand. Keep telling it to see yourself to sleep at night, motherfucker.
Oh. The darkness has spread up to these parts as well. But the good thing we're getting out of here really soon. Holy cow. This curse is goddamn persistence if you need my opinion. Oh my goodness, it's filled with blood. Just to leave ourselves a little more breathing room, we're gonna go ahead and close this door. So in case someone starts pounding it or whatever else happens, we're going to be able to hear it. But at least we don't have the pot anymore, thus we're not gonna be able to... We're not going to be doing any more of these quests. Bring here, fetch this, hopefully, if everything works out. Now... Okay. And blood everywhere. Don't worry, you goddamn gets. You're not taking me before I take care of this Alexander character. I damn will. And this is the timer. We're going to cut at this point, and in the next episode, next episode, we're going to find out. We're going to find out what, what we're going to find out what's going to happen with the elevator. Will we be able to fix it? And how will the how will Daniel will be able to avoid the darkness that's pursuing him for so long, ever so digi dil diligently? Yes. I thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for listening. If you enjoyed the content and my commentary, please do not forget to subscribe. It helps me immensely to get my channel out there to what I want it to be, and I really appreciate it. You have a greatest day, and stay tuned for more content. Bye bye.